precipitation includes all forms of water that are being transported from the atmosphere to the earth. There are several common forms for precipitation. Rainfall is defined as precipitation in the form of water drops, with size ranging from 0.5 mm to 6 mm. It can be further classified based on intensity. Another important form of precipitation is snow. A snowflake is formed through the combination of ice crystal. A precipitation may also take the form of irregular pellet or lump of ice. This kind of precipitation is known as hail, and the size of the product is usually greater than 8 mm. Among all the forms of precipitation, rainfall and snowfall contributed significant amount of water to the earth. For precipitation to take place, the atmosphere must be moist enough. Condensation needs to be carried out smoothly by having good weather conditions and sufficient nuclei. Finally, the product of condensation needs to reach Earth before it can be called precipitation. Quantitatively, rainfall is expressed as a depth of water over the target catchment area. The device we use to measure rainfall is called rain gauge. It basically consists of an open cylindrical vessel that catches the rain. To measure the precipitation accurately, the device should be placed upright on open, level ground. The altitude should be strategically planned so that the device is high enough to not be affected by flooding and splashing while low enough to have insignificant wind effects. A rain gauge can be further classified into recording and non-recording gauges. A recording gauge can produce continuous plot of rainfall against time, which is helpful in analyzing the rainfall duration and intensity. There are three main types of recording gauge, namely tipping bucket, waving bucket, and natural siphon. For non-recording gauge, the rainfall is monitored every 24 hours and the measurement is recorded as the rainfall of the day. An example of non-recording gauge is Simon's gauge. The measurement of snowfall is expressed as equivalent water depth, which is defined as the amount of water produced from the melting of a unit of snow. Water equivalent of snow is measured using snow gauges and snow tubes. A snow gauge measures either the weight or volume of melted snow to determine its water equivalent. Snow tube, on the other hand, is used on accumulated snow by extracting core samples from it. The samples are then studied and based on their physical properties, the water equivalent of snow core can be determined. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please share it with your friends. We'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.